functions of complement proteins, that what important functions are going to be performed by the complement proteins, which are forming a complement system. So there are very important functions. That means that the complement system, it is available for providing specific as well as non-specific resistance against infection. This is that specifically a khas organism ke against, they are just going to provide protection. Similarly, in a non-specific manner, ke means that if all the bacteria, all the viruses, they are just going to be infected, they are just going to be affected by the effect of the complement proteins. So they are providing resistance against the development of that infection. So that is very, very important. In fact, the complement proteins, hai, they are the part of the non-specific immune system. But the non-specific immune system is part of the non-specific immune system. But they can act in a uh, specific manner that if this is adaptive or specific immune system with a molecule, because of that organism, Okay, against protection provide kar sake. So that is very, very critical and very important function of the uh, complement protein. Now, the complement proteins has the various functions regarding to their uh, primary or secondary uh, targets. Means the primary function of the complement protein is to lyse or to kill the infectious agent. So, wo infectious agent bacteria bhi ho sakta hai, virus bhi hai, uh, fungus bhi hai. So, all such kind of the infectious agent, whenever they are just going to kill or they are just going to lyse by the complement protein, that is the primary function. So, that's why there is another term that is called as cytolysis or cytolysis means that the cell is going to be destroyed by the complement protein. That is the primary function. Then there is other, the secondary functions, or the, uh, you can say that sometimes these are also called as effector functions. Effector functions are these are uh, those functions that which affect on the other functions of the immune system. It means the immune system ke other functions are protection ke point of view se agar complement protein un functions ko modulate kar rahi hain un functions ko help out kar rahi hain so those functions would called as secondary or effector function kyunki wo effect kar rahi hain immune system ke un functions ko jo ke protection provide kar rahe hain against invading agent that's why these are the effector functions or regarding to primary function these are also called as secondary functions. Now coming to the very important function of the complement protein is opsonization. Opsonization is a process by which the process of phagocytosis can increase. Means that the pathogenic organism body may enter hoga or usko agar phagocyte zyada se zyada eat karenge or taake wo kill kare so that process is called as opsonization. So, so some complement proteins, they are very critical. They are providing the function of opsonins. Opsonins means that those proteins which has the ability to cause the process of opsonization. Or opsonization ka process, as a process, jis ke through, jo phagocytosis ka process, wo increase kar jai, enhance ho jai. Now, here what happens that the different components or the different proteins of complement like C3B, IC3B and C4B, these are the nomenclature of complement protein. C stands for complement, 3 means that their number in complement protein and the B stands for their subunits. So whenever the complement protein is going to be cleave, so there are two subunits, ek A hoga or ek B hoga. A usually that is going to provide the function that means that the effector function or B function that, that means that they are just going to bind B for binding. So wo bind karengi, wo protein bind karengi kisi microorganism ki surface pe ya kisi cell ki surface pe. So here you can see that these three proteins like C3B, IC3B and C4B, they are just going to bind on the surface of bacterium. Ye bacteria hai aur is bacteria ki surface pe ye complement protein whenever they are just going to bound. So whenever this complex will be formed, ab ye complex kis ka hai? Ye complex is the between the bacteria and the complement proteins. Now 
against this complex, there are certain receptors are present on the surface of phagocytes here. You can see that this is the phagocytic cell or is phagocytic cell pay, this is the receptor. That is the complement receptor. So now what happened? This complex complement protein bind with the complement receptor on the surface of phagocytic cell. Ab jab ye complex is receptor ke saath bind karega and you can see that um, it is going to be engulfed this process. It is going to bind it and afterward the binded complex which is bacteria or complement protein hai, it is going to be ingested or engulf kar jayega or process of phagocytosis ho jayega that is called as opsonization process. So, so the opsonization or the increase in the phagocytosis of the microorganisms or the microbe, it is going to be performed by the various complement proteins which are opsonins in nature. Another important function of the complement protein is chemotaxis. Chemotaxis means that is the phenomena by which the immune cells, particularly immune cells, they move or they attract to under the action of certain chemicals. Chemo means from chemical or taxis mean movement. So under the certain proteins or certain chemicals they move towards. Ab, mm, complement proteins they are sometimes serve as chemo attractants. Chemo attractants or chemotactic factors means ke wo itself mm, un cells ke liye chemo attractant or chemo tactic factor ke par act karti hai. For example here you can see that C5A that is one of the important component of the complement protein. So that is potent activator of the these kind of immune cell like neutrophil, basophil and macrophage. Up here you can see that in this figure what is going to be happen that the complement protein that is C5A it is going to be present here. So as a result what would happen Ke, first of all ye jo membrane hai ye jo endothelial membrane hai is endothelial membrane say uh, that is going to move ye cells they are going to adhere first of all and afterward under the action of C5A they are just moving they are just moving towards the site of infection so chemotaxis ho rahi jahan pe blood se blood vessel se nikal ke wo cells they are just going to move towards the site of infection jab wo site of infection ki taraf jayenge to they causes the induction of adhesion molecule on the surface of blood vessels means endothelial cells and as a result their movement is going to occur towards the site of infection. So that is the process of chemotactic or chemotaxis. So membrane attack complex that is called as MAC. mac it is made up of C5B, C6 and C7. They are also con considered as a good chemotactic factors or good chemo attractants. And similarly, another important function of the uh, complement protein that is the anaphylaxis. Ana means Anna means anti, that means that against phylaxis mean protection, that they are against the protection. Means some complement proteins, they are serve as an anaphylatoxins. Means wo kya karti hai? Wo jo immune cells hai, unki hyperactivation kar deti hai. Means like C4A, C3A, C5A, these are the potent anaphylatoxins. So what they are just going to be done, ke these are causing the, you can say that, the neutrophils move kar rahe hai, uske saath saath the mast cells, that is the very good uh, target for the anaphylatoxins. Wo un pe ja ke act karte hai aur ye mast cells ki degranulation karte hai. And whenever those mast cells they are just going to be degranulate or the basophils they are just going to be degranulate. So there are certain molecules, certain chemicals they are going to secrete which are the very good uh, for the smooth muscle contraction or inflammation ka process start ho jata hai or vasodilatation ho jati hai or as a result some time bronchoconstriction jo hamare lungs hai unme jo vessels hai they are just going to constrict. So these are the, you can say that the adverse effect, these are the hyper uh, protection or you can say that the hyper effects of these complement protein, that's why these are called as anaphylatoxins and this process is called as anaphylaxis.